Good morning, good evening, anywhere you are in the world, because I just um, checked yesterday and saw that I have viewers now in Trinidad and Tobago and in South Africa. Like I saw, um, I've got some new countries uh, that have started viewing people from there. So anyways, this is my breakdown of of Adam Levine and as you can see from the title of the album <laughs> the conclusion that I've come up with but um, I, this this dude right here has a song called girls like you out I know you've heard it because it has a billion almost two billion views and what that song is, is a song where every single supposed female in that video is really um, a transgender. It's really a man. And, you know, I'm always telling my subs or my viewers just look for clues. Like, if someone just loves men, then... That kind of gives you a clue about what their gender is. Because um, I've looked it up. And only about 3% of the population is actually truly gay. But this person comes from Heliweird. And in Heliweird, they um, worship the Baphomet. This is the God, and now they worship Lucifer, Satan, they're Freemasons, you know, what have you. But this is their God that they pay homage to right here. And um, it's a goat God that has boobs. And as you can see, it also has a penis. And they, um, they're very devout with their religion. And so what these people do... These occultists, Satanists, they transgender their children from birth and raise them as the sex opposite of what they were born with. And they put them on the opposite hormones. And then with some of them, they give them sex change surgeries, some not. I think that's on a case-by-case -case basis. But um, this is their God, their lowercase G-O-D. This is who they worship. And um, people come at me a lot of times with um, hate and anger and they don't understand. But this is the, this is the cornerstone of it right here. This is um, what it all comes from. It comes from because your entertainers on the tell lies to your vision worship this. And so, they want to be more like that. So, if they worship a lowercase g-o-d that has boobs and a penis, they're going to try to imitate that. And they do. That's why they invert the gender on their children and on themselves. And they're very devout. It's their religion. And so, once you recognize and learn to understand that that's their religion... It makes it so much easier to understand why they're doing what they're doing and what's really going on. So, I'm going to get back to my album here. And, yes, at the end there is all of his uh, male girlfriends he's had. But, just to start with... I mean, I guess I can just start from the top. Because there's a lot here to break down. Oh, I remember. Um, because of the popularity of this person, I feel like, um, and I'm sorry if you're one of my um, knowledgeable subs, but I have to go through here and do this. I have to give you an, an anatomy lesson. Because if I don't, you know, um, I'm going to get, 
thousands of, of hate comments. So I'm going to teach y'all about the differences between male and female um, skulls and skeletons because um, those are coded for in the DNA based on what your gender is, whether you have X or Y chromosome. Okay, right here, as you can see, there's a male skull here and here and the female skull and um all right as you can see the male skull is larger they have a lot larger and a squared jawline and they'll have high wide cheekbones that protrude and a lot of times you'll see them with sunken down cheeks like if you saw um my paula Patton and robin thick uh video paula Patton has the sunken cheeks because they have really prominent cheekbones because it's a male skull the male skull the eyes will be a little bit further set apart um, the dental arch is wider and the teeth are larger on males. Um, just the eye sockets are larger on males. And right here, you can kind of see it, but there will be a brow ridge. Males have a brow ridge, which is where there's a thickening in the bone right above um, their eyebrow. There's a thickening of the bone there, and as you can see, then, then um, the forehead slopes back from there. It slopes back, back, back. It's a retreat. It's it's like the there's the uh, brow ridge comes forward. It, it protrudes forward, and then the forehead slopes back. So it's like brow ridge, sloping back forehead. Brow ridge there, sloping back forehead. And as you can see, a male. Um, Sometimes a female will get in my comments and they'll say, oh, I have a big head. And it's like, yeah, head size varies. But um, in general, males, like the biggest male will definitely have a bigger skull than the biggest female. That's a fact. So that's all I'm talking about. And I break down between 15 and 20 different traits on the skeleton and the skull and um, the musculature before I decide the sex of somebody. And another thing I want to say just right off the bat is that um, I am abandoning digit ratio in all my videos because um, like with my daughters, it doesn't fit them. I've had a lot of men saying that, that they have index longer. I think digit ratio is um, is too unreliable to be used. And so I'm no longer going to use it in any of my videos. I'm just letting you all know that real quick. So um, I need to get back to this and not get sidetracked here. Okay. But wide dental arch right there. Larger teeth. Wide set eyes. Brow ridge. See how the, the brow sticks out a little bit there? It sticks out, and then the forehead slopes back. On a female, um, it's more of a flatter face. You don't have prominent cheekbones on a female. You have a soft, curvy jaw. On a man, their jaw is going to be chiseled, chiseled and um, just defined and square and look like a box hold on that is not what I planned to happen right there okay sorry okay but yes males have just really chiseled square they'll have a square jawline they will have a square chin and sometimes they'll have a cleft chin and a cleft chin um, I, I suppose it could be possible on a female. I'm, I don't like to speak in absolutes, but usually, um, a cleft chin is a male trait. Females tend to have a pointier chin, a soft, 
or uh, what I would like to say, like how Donald Trump has a weak jaw. It's not defined. It's not chiseled. That's another inverted person, but this video is not about Trump. Um, but no, see, see right here how it's softer and it kind of slopes up into the skull where it connects. The mandible is softer. The teeth are smaller. The dental arch, like the dental palate, is more narrow and smaller. And the cheekbones are not protruding. And females have a smaller skull in general, and they have a flat vertical forehead with no visible brow ridge. You're not going to see brow ridge on a female. And if you do, then that should be a red flag to make you question, um, is that really a female? But, um, and, oh, and females will have their eyes closer set together. And just an, more of an oval face and a pointy chin. Males have square jaw lines, larger teeth, wider dental arch, square chin, brow ridge, and sloping back forehead and a larger skull. Okay, now I've covered the skulls. Now I'm going to cover the skeletons. And, um, I had used the same, um, diagram right here in my Angela Bassett breakdown. And it's all right. It's just right here. I wish they had made the males, um, I wish they had made the males shoulders wider. It, but it's okay. I'll work with it. Um, on males, one thing you're going to notice is they have wide shoulders. They're going to have wide shoulders and they're going to be teed like straight across also on males you'll notice they'll have more protruding collarbones and that they'll run just straight and horizontal all the way all the way out to the edge of the shoulder all the way out males have longer arms they have longer um also humerus bone which is the top bone in your arm just a moment, sorry. Um, yes, the humerus bone is this long bone at the top of your arm. That is a marker. Like, if you see someone with an extremely long humerus bone, that is a male trait. Um, and, and also, like I said, the teed squared across shoulders and the collarbones will go horizontal all the way to the edge. Men have larger hands. They have longer arms as well. As you can see right here, there's the crotch level, right? Down here are the hands. And typically on males, the hands will be, will like if they put their fingertips down to their leg, it will end right about there, halfway to the knee. And um, that's consistent. Also, um, males have small vertical pelvises because they don't have to um, carry a pregnancy. And, and the, the pelvic outlet is smaller because they don't have to pass babies for childbirth. And if you look at the shape of the pelvis also, it's more vertical and it's smaller. Males will be, they'll be shaped like a T kind of. They'll have wide shoulders and small narrow hips. And also if you look at this, now males do have a tiny bit of a Q angle, but it's very small. A Q angle is the angle that the femur bone right here inserts into the pelvis. And if you see this, it looks, it's just almost vertical. Males don't really have a Q angle. And um, that's just because females have wider hips to be able to pass babies. But see the angle where the femur attaches to the hip it comes out at an angle and it and their legs it comes out from here and goes in 
that is what a Q angle is. See the angle here versus vertical there. All right. Um, men have really large, larger rib cages. And um, I know like if they're um, doing paleontology work, the sternum and the rib cage are, is one of the um, things they use to determine gender on, on bones, which they'll also use the hands. Um, and the skull, obviously, and the pelvis. So, um, I'm going to move on and talk about the female skeleton now. Um, as you can see right here, females, um, have a lot more narrow shoulders, smaller rib cage. The arms will hang away from the body. Men's arms will hang straight down because they don't have hips. It, it should be wide shoulders no hips so the men's arms hang straight down and the men's arms are longer and you would expect them to be halfway down to the knee now on females um the shoulders can only the shoulders should only be wide enough to hold two and a half widths of the head like if you put the head side by side on the shoulders you shouldn't be able to fit more than two and a half heads on the shoulders. Um, on a man, you can fit three head widths, like the width of their head. If you stack their heads side by side on the shoulders, just imagine it like one, two, three will fit on their shoulders. But, um, with certain men, like Paula Patton, they have like three and a half head widths. Or like Sarah Silverman that's in the Girls Like You video. You could fit four he heads on their shoulders. They just have massive, massively wide shoulders. Um, but yes, on a woman, they should have more tiny shoulders. Two and a half head widths. You can't fit three whole heads side by side on a woman's shoulders um my hands my arms are a little bit shorter than this they reach more about crotch level but um crotch level arms that where the either the palm like mine end my hands end more about crotch level but it, it's still normal for a female to have palms ending around crotch level but you shouldn't really be seeing a female with their arms halfway down to their knee. Like if you want to go back, if you want an example of that, I made a video about Tinashe, like who did the, the Slumber Party song with Britney Spears. It was a quick breakdown, but, but Tinashe has arms that, that are seriously like just a couple inches from the knee. And that's, that's a man trait. To have long arms like that. Females will have a shorter humerus bone and the arms will hang kind of away to make room. They'll, they'll hang away from the body a little bit more to make room for the hips. And on a woman, their hips, the, the widest part is the hips, which is around crotch level. Also, you can notice that the woman's pelvis is wider the pelvic outlet is larger, and the shape of the pelvis is different. Um, the top, um, I don't, trochanters, I don't want to say, I, I was in anatomy and physiology a long time ago, and I think it's called like the greater trochanter, like this part, the top part of the hip bone, they splay outward, and that's to help and the pelvis will tilt forward also to help support the weight of um, the pregnancy in the front. Also, um, men have straight spines. They'll have a flat back. It'll be straight and flat from their neck. And then, it'll, then men will have a curve where it curves outward 
just slightly above the rear. Females, their back will kind of arch out, arch out, um, like right below the neck. It'll arch out slightly, and then right around the scapula or the bra line in the back, it arches in at an angle, and then it arches back out, and it's noticeable. It's called a mid-back arch. But that arch in the back, like, um, that's one of the things I look for, um, if I'm looking for, like, a, a male to female, is I look for a flat back. If they have a flat back, um, that's not consistent with being a female because, um, that arch in the back is also to help offset the weight in the front from carrying pregnancy from the weight of the baby in the front um god gave us that arch in our back to help off to uh, to help offset it okay and um what else about the anatomy um men will have larger feet females smaller um like i said on the females the, the the way that the femur inserts into the pelvis is at a wider angle. That's called a Q angle. Men's femurs insert into their pelvis like their legs will go vertical straight to the pelvis. Smaller pelvis here. Longer arms on men. Shorter arms that are around or thereabouts of crotch length. Or at least palm at crotch length for females. Um, females have smaller feet. Um, I've already talked about the skull. But yes, on a female you expect smaller shoulders and wider hips. And the arms hang away from the body. And I talked about females have a mid-back arch. Oh, also, before I forget. Men, now, Adam Levine does have... He has had um, an Adonis belt surgery, and I can prove that to you because he has waist indents. See, an Adonis belt on a real man comes from the bones right here. The bones right there, and the pelvis on a real man, it ends a couple inches below the navel. On a real female, um... It's like the ribs come in here, but then the um, the pelvis ends above the navel. So where the ribs come in, and then the pelvis ends. Since the pelvis ends above the navel, that's where the weight, the female waist indents come from. So um, a man, like if you see a man, especially in Helly Weird, if they're having um, if their waist indents above their belly button, that is an anomaly that you that should not be hap that shouldn't be there. Men's waist should indent where the hips are, which is below the navel. Waist indents, like you see on Prince Harry, or on Robin Thicke, or on Robert Downey Jr., that are above the navel is a red flag that you're looking at a transgender person because females pelvis ends a couple inches above the navel that's what creates that indent right there along it's like the ribs end and the pelvis ends above the navel that's what makes the indents above the navel that's a hard marker if you see a male with waist indents above the navel um then you're likely looking at a she-male. Now that I got that over with, let's see. I could just go into photos, but I'm going to save that right now because I, I want to do that at the end. Um, first, I'd like to take a look at his wife, quote-unquote wife, and 
his list of all his ex quote unquote girlfriends because it's very telling. But okay, I guess the photos are at the bottom. Before I do that, I'm going to talk about girls like you for a minute. Here we go. This song, talk about girls like you run around with guys like me. And if you have some discernment, <laughs> girls like these, because this, I don't know who this is right here. But I know Jennifer Lopez is a drag. Mary J. Blige is a drag. Cardi B is a drag that, that faked their pregnancy. Um, Allie Raisman, if you want to look up photos of them, that's someone that was castrated and their parents put them in, into gymnastics um, with an unfair to cheat with an unfair advantage of strength and everything. They, they did a sex change on Allie Raisman. Because, um, like, a real woman can't compete in women's gymnastics because, well, they got men doing it. And they have a lot more strength. But, yes, um, this song, it drags like you, basically. And every, this is a drag party. And I didn't come up with that phrase. I'm not taking credit for that. But this this video is just... There was no real females in this video whatsoever. At all. And we'll look at a couple pictures. <laughs> from this. Here you go. I made a little um, collage here. No, that's Allie Raisman. That's the one I was talking about that is a male, but their parents wanted them to be a star in gymnastics. And how can you be a star in gymnastics? They pulled a Serena Williams with them. They switch up the gender. Then it's an unfair advantage because it's really a man. They got the strength of a man competing against females. It's just, it's evil and it's wrong is what it is. But... Um, oh, and here, the, these two were also in the video. Ellen, who is a man, pretending to be a lesbian, and then this Trace Lissette is, an, is actually an out, open, um, transgender. But, um, and then, and then here, oh, I'm forgetting that's just a photo, there's no link. But no, um, his wife is, um, a transgender as well. This is just a celebration of drag men. And they said, it, it's inspiring. It's inspiring. LGBT women like them. And they mentioned these two. But no, it's not just those two. Every single um, supposed female in that video was all a man. Every last one of them. Now, I'm going to go through... And I'm going to look at his exes. His wife. I guess we'll look at his wife first. Okay. Well, I'm going to just look here. Okay. Um, what I can see here is a square jawline. Let me zoom so you can see it really well. I see short arms right here. They look hippie right here. Slumped shoulders. Over here, I see the Baphomet sign on the hand right there. Just uh, real nonchalantly. I see beat up. Uh, when I say beat up kneecaps, what that means is that um, the males have bony protrusion, like protruding kneecaps. Females will have soft kneecaps where there's not bones and tendons, ligaments sticking out. That's a beat up kneecap right there. Vertical, there's no Q angle right there either. You can tell that's vertical right to the pelvis. Uh, Baphomet sign, long arms, square jawline, square, square jawline. This is his 
his, quote, wife, right there, who is a model, and, yep, okay, but you could see he was hippie in that photo, too, that's hippie, um, on him, and yes, FTMs will build up and bulk up their shoulders to make it appear as if their shoulders are wider than the hips, but really, his are about equal, but I've got a lot of pictures to go through. I'm going to break him down so thoroughly. Y'all are going to probably be sick of me by the end of this video. But that's okay. Alright, let's look more at the wife. Oh, there she is. Wearing a moon bump. With her brow ridge and square jawline. And giving you the Baphomet sign. And the, and the Baphomet sign is like for the goat horns, but a lot of stars do, they flash this sign because it's like secret code for saying I'm both, like I'm both sexes. Look at how long this humerus bone is. That is what I, I was talking about, about a male length humerus bone, long. And you can see the collarbone right there. And yes, this person does have horizontal collarbones all the way to the edge. All the way. It's just a tall, lanky man on estrogen wearing a moon bump. Bahati Prinsloo. Victoria's Secret. And we all know it. Well, we I don't know if we all know. Because I don't know how many people this video is going to reach um, that aren't hip to the transgender agenda but Victoria's Secret models if you look it up um, there's um, different truthers with videos on YouTube that show Victoria's Secret fashion shows and stuff and they'll have that's what their secret is is that they are a drag man every last one of them with no exceptions and uh, on some of them uh, They've caught it on video with scrotum hanging out of the swimsuit by accident. But yes, Victoria's Secret, that's what Victoria's Secret is. Is that it is a Baphomet. And that is his wife. With conveniently covering the shoulders that are wide. No hips at all. See, they're not, um, they are not giving us a show right there with scrotum, but they do sometimes. And they dress these people up like angels, and it has to do with, um, like the fallen angels. They, um, because stars, Hollywood stars are, are like the fallen angels, because they rebelled against God. In any case, let's look here. Okay, here is his wife. Again, with long male arms approaching <laughs> approaching the knee. This is very long arms here. Severely beat up kneecaps. Look at these kneecaps. That is what a beat up kneecap is. Almost as bad as Paula Patton. Seriously, the on a comparable level. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can zoom here. See, horizontal collarbones that go all the way to the edge. That's the edge of the shoulder. Just textbook. And very long arms. And I don't want the picture to look grainy. But you can see brow ridge right here, square jawline, big ears, larger ears. Now, I know there can be women that have larger size ears, but look at this ear compared to Adam's ear. A lot bigger. And just a bony, it's just a bony chest man. Um, here's a better image. Let me zoom it in here. This is what a horizontal male collarbone looks like. Textbook. It's hard to find a better image than that. Horizontal 
collarbones all the way to the edge. And look at the shape of the forehead. That's a male forehead. There's a brow ridge there. Square jawline. And likely a chin implant. They get chin implants because males have more squared off chins. And Adam still has a pointy chin. They didn't even try to square out his chin very much. Um, here, just bony chest. Bony chest man, once again. Long arms. Long, long, long arms. And one thing I want you to start noticing in the photos is how Adam has no Adam's apple whatsoever. And it's in like 20 or 30 pictures, but I'm not in a hurry. I got a good charge on my battery, and I'm just taking my time with this one because this one has deceived billions of people. 1.7 billion views. On a show mocking, on uh, not a show on it was it was a show all right, but a video mocking real females. It's just evil. This is a male back. It's flat and straight, flat and straight. Now she's kind of squunching up the shoulders, but look at the boniness and the wideness of these shoulders. Just massive. And right there, you can kind of see the sloping back forehead and the brow bone. Models, Victoria's Secrets, people like that are transgender. That's what they do. Let's look at this. I know his arm's in the way. And he's pooching out his stomach, but look at the back. The back is curved in right there, and it curves back out. That is a female back curve. And this person is arching backwards unnaturally. But no, this right here, look where look where it disappears and goes in. That is a female. Um, it's like right around the scapula, right there. That's where it goes in. That's a female curve to the back. Absolutely. And I have more photos with the curve in the back as well. Um, <laughs> this is funny because this is on that video because I don't know mockery of real females. It makes me angry. So this is my comment I left here. I just, I went on there under the video and took a photo of it. I put the truth community. All of us are laughing at you, Adam. Because you snitched on yourself for being a secret tranny female to male. You need a girl that's a secret man. Absolutely. And look at that. I took this photo yesterday. And look at that. I didn't click on... I don't know what all I said. But look at how nobody challenged me. <laughs> nobody challenged me on that. I didn't get a dislike. They didn't block or delete me? Wow. Why is that? Maybe because I called them out. Maybe because I called them out for what they are. Here's a good image of the flat back. Again, now it's only halfway down, but you can still see that's a flat back. And you can see a square jawline, and you can see no Adam's apple in the neck again. He doesn't even have a P Adam's apple. He has nothing. Nothing. And he still has the pointy chin. They didn't even try to square out the chin. Nothing. Okay. Let's look at this. This little photo right here. If you ignore like the bold out haircut. To me, I'm looking at the face of a little girl. That looks like a little girl to me all day. With just a goofy, like, Beatles kind of looking bowl haircut. That looks like a girl's face. Like, you put any other, you cover it up, put any other sort of hair on there. 
I'd put money on it. That's a, a little baby girl there. Now, look at this. This is telling right here. This is before the testosterone hit this person, you know, to the level that it is now. You got a vertical forehead, no brow ridge, just kind of some bushy eyebrows. You've got a flat face with no cheekbones poking, nothing. Oval face. Oval face. Whoops. Pointy chin. No Adam's apple. Just no prominent trachea. Nothing in the neck. Sloping down shoulders. If you took away this awkward hair. And if they pluck the eyebrows. Soften it up a bit. That is a female skull all day. With smaller ears. Slump shoulders. That is the face of a female that is being dressed up as a boy. This here. Look at that. Just pointy chin, soft jaw. They got the, the brow covered, but I mean, you can tell that it wouldn't have been protruding anyway. A lot of times they wear bangs or long hair to cover up stuff like that. Or they wear, like the FTMs, they'll have bushy eyebrows. But to me, you put long hair on this person, that's a little girl. And there's more. I know I have a photo in here that shows just the soft jaw. I'm going to find it. Here it is. Now, yes, there's acne there, okay? Look past that. Look past that because testosterone abuse in a female that's not supposed to be on testosterone will cause you to get acne and breakouts. It will cause that. Look, there is no brow bone at all. This is before they've been on too much testosterone. Now, nowadays, his brow has thickened slightly because testosterone will thicken a brow but he still doesn't have a sloping back forehead that's a vertical forehead small ears this is this is textbook right here of what i was talking about about the soft sloping jawline that's the money shot right there and and a little bit of scruff here he's on t that's why the breakouts and stuff they keep bushy eyebrows but just and the, look, look at the distance between the mouth, between the, the lip and the nose. That's another thing that a lot of people look at. It's tiny, tiny, pointy chin, soft jawline, small ears, vertical forehead, no brow ridge. This right here was the photo that where I thought done and dusted, busted right there. That's the photo. You look past the acne and just look at the shape. If you look at the shape of the skull, that is a female skull all day. That is your curved, it, there's no boxiness to it. That is a curved, sloping jawline. Absolutely. Now, here is some curve in the back. And me and my, one of my friends, like, uh, she was trying to say, like, he has a female curve in the back. And, um, or no, I was saying he has enough to be a female curve in the back. And that a female curve doesn't have to be that pronounced. It's like with me, I have scoliosis that's between moderate and severe. And so I don't, the curve in my back isn't uh this deep obvious curve still the rear is down here and the, the curve it's curving right up there that's where it's curving to me that's a female curve right that's enough to be a female curve not everybody has to have a super drastic curve um 
And I have any number of tons of photos of no Adam's apple. I can just, I guess I'm just going to start breaking down these photos. And then I can go back later and cover um, all of his uh, quote-unquote girlfriends. Because all of them are men. Okay. Let's look right here. You've got sloping down shoulders. Yes, he works out, okay? Yes, he works out. We know that. But, oh, it looks like asymmetrical breast. The left looks larger there. That's a, a asymmetrical breast is a sign that it is, was born a female. There's the navel. There's your waist indent. There's your waist indent. It's right there. That's a couple inches above the navel. He has had an Adonis belt surgery like Prince Harry, but that's fake. Or like Robin Thicke has had one too. They have surgeries to be more deceptive so that they can make females lust after them. <laughs> but it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, Adam. It doesn't work. You got some of the most obvious female waist indents out there. And you also have crotch link arms, which you can't, they cut, the photo cuts off right there. But yes, sloping down shoulders. Not wide shoulders. Not really. They're bulked up. But it's not fooling me. You got waist indents above the navel. Now, remember what I told y'all that's from? It's because uh, the female's pelvis ends a couple inches above the navel. That's the end of his pelvis, of her pelvis. But I'll call him him to avoid confusion because that's who they present as. But they're not fooling me. That's a waist indent. That's a waist indent. Now, there's a waist indent. What is this? That looks like uh, scarring from breast removal. Absolutely. What is all this? Uh, Adonis belt surgery gone wrong? Just, just what is this? There's your indent for the hips. And this is looks like the surgery. If they put an implant in there. For the Adonis belt, to, to make a fake Adonis belt, it looks like it's shifted out of place. That is scarring from female uh, breast tissue uh, removal. And you can see, they've been on T for a while. For a long time. But they still have no Adam's apple in the neck, and they still basically have a vertical forehead. The brow has built up slightly, but that will happen over eons of testosterone abuse and the, and yes it will square out the jaw a little bit but i already showed you that childhood picture of the jaw and that was a female jaw that was like the most female looking jaw if you had to like if you had a textbook and they want to show you in the textbook what a female jaw looks like that photo that i talked about earlier was that small smaller hands relatively and this is a, a taller person but in Hollywood, it's like they try, they breed, what they, they breed people, they want to produce really big girls and really tiny men so that they can match up transgender couples and it make it more believable to the masses. Sloping down shoulders. They're not that wide either, even though he works out. But look at this. Look at this. It's asymmetrical. And that is that is not normal. That's from surgery. That is um, a messed up Adonis belt surgery. There is the true indent from the hip right there. And they look kind of hippie in this picture as well. There's the whole thing. See? Crotch-length hands. Crotch-length hands. Wide hips. And um, 
Adonis Belt botched surgery right there in need of fixing, which I believe it's fixed by now because he has a lot more tattoos now. The tats are probably to help cover up the feminine markers, in my opinion. Okay. Here's a good image of... There's a little bit of an indent there, but that's not what this photo was for. It's for how the, the collarbones come up in a V, and they're not out to the edge. They're not horizontal or in a V. They're just... they're. No, they are in a V. I hate when I stammer my words. But anyways, um, yeah, collarbones are, are going up in an angle, and that is not to the edge. It should be going like this, straight across, all the way to the edge like that. Yep. And you can still see some of this here, the scarring here from the breasts. Okay, what next? Crotch length hands. He's like me. Like hands end at the crotch. Like extremely short arms. Pointy chin. Nothing in the neck. Short, humorous bone. Fake Adonis belt. There's his indent right there. That is the pelvis. This is fake. Okay? Wide hips. It's like he's wearing the pants extremely low, low. <laughs> like right above the, the slit of the, where the vagina is. Just to, I don't know, to make the torso look longer. That's a short torso. It's like, wow, if, you, if these pants move an eighth of an inch, you'd be showing things. All right. There's your fake Adonis belt. Looks like it got fixed there. Double Baphomet sign. And what is he telling us with that? He's telling us, I am both. I am both. Yes, it's the goat horns. But the goat horn stands for the Baphomet. And the Baphomet is both sexes in one. He's saying, I am both genders on both hands. Okay, there we go. That is well above, that's, that's a curve in the back right there. That curves in, and that is well above the rear. I would expect a curve further down. That's enough of a curve to be a female curve, in my opinion. And... I already told y'all I'm not looking at digit ratios anymore because it's like almost everybody that I know in real life, it doesn't apply to them. I'm the only one that I know that it does apply, so it's garbage. Now, hand size, I will, I will look at that. And this person has just kind of average size hands. I wouldn't say they're huge man hands. They're a, they're a tall person. And this forehead is not really that sloping. Not really. They have developed a bit of a brow from the testosterone, but but earlier, but it's not much of one. Those eyes, to me, I don't know. This photo strikes me like it could be a synthetic, which I've had a lot of my subs telling me that... Um, that they believe Adam is um, cloned. But these eyes right here, something about it is off with me. Something about it, like the face looks, I don't know, maybe too smooth. I can't prove it, but it, to me, looking in the eyes, something looks off. And in the Girls Like You video, if you watch it very closely, I think I'm watching a robotoid there as well. But this isn't this isn't a cloning video. Just the eyes. Something about the eyes is off right there. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Ignore this. Like I said, that comes from testosterone. And we already saw earlier 
how um but wow small ears small ears curved curvy sloping jaw female jaw all day a male's jaw comes down rigid like a box like a square they didn't even they didn't even give him a chin implant that's a pointy chin and there is a little bit of thickening there which happens from testosterone and they can grow some facial hair on testosterone nothing in the neck slump shoulders um sloping down shoulders nothing in the neck again yep it's like bruno mars nothing in the neck whatsoever i mean it's not like uh oh, patrick swayze how he had that this pea shaped adam's apple that that looks like like a green pea like it looks wrong he didn't even have that they don't even try with him as far as to fake us out with an Adam's apple. He has nothing there. Nothing in the neck. Nothing. Pointy chin. Vertical. Flat forehead. Um, very little brow bone. Only from the T. And small ears. What is this here? Where is your jawbone? <laughs> My friend. Where where is your jawbone? That is a weak jaw. When I say someone has a weak jaw, that is a weak jaw right there. It's supposed a man's jaw comes down and like in a 90 degree angle, comes down and across like a box. This is anything but that. It, that's a that's a weak ass jaw there. Nothing in the neck. Tiny ears. And the slope there in the forehead is only because they have built up this brow and they have surgeries where they can implant into the brow to make it seem like they have a brow ridge. It's just not fooling me whatsoever. So feminine. How many more photos do we need of your non-Adam's apple? Yeah, see, he doesn't, even with the T, he doesn't have much of a brow ridge. And that, that's a vertical forehead. Like, females will have more of a rectangular-shaped vertical forehead. And that's what you got here. And look, it's soft neck. Nothing in the neck. Just a soft neck, no Adam's apple like Bruno Mars. Fake Adonis belt got corrected from that earlier picture. Female waist and dense, just clear. See right there and right there, a couple inches above the navel. Just um, classic. Classic. There's your, there's your markers. Sloping shoulders. And yes, they will build up muscle here to bulk up. But he still has no Adam's apple in the neck. A pointy chin. A soft jawline. No, like a flat face with no prominent cheekbones. He's got uh, bushy eyebrows and a flat vertical forehead and tiny ears. Why would he post this? like this does he not know that th that i'm out here and i will call him on this wow wow <sighs> wow that looks see it looks like a different version which most celebrities uh, and if you don't uh, if you're not familiar with human cloning, no, it's not a true human being. They, they, it's like a robot. They, they'll kill stars off and replace them with very advanced robotoids that can act almost just like a human being. 
but they'll they'll malfunction on TV and, and weird things happen. Like they'll just glitch up, they'll freeze, and so like um, there's evidence um, to show us that 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 is happening. But this looks fake. That doesn't look like the same person to me. That looks, um, that looks like a body double. Let me get out of this picture. Okay. Now, I want to make sure I haven't left any stone unturned on this man here. With his almost 2 billion view song. Let's see. I just want to make sure. Y'all have seen the waist indents. Let's look at them again. There and there. Sloping shoulders. Short arms. Sh short arms. Sorry for the interruption. My friend doesn't know that I tried to get my live yes I am roasting him thanks my my friend doesn't know that I tried to get the live to work last night and it wouldn't work with my screencast so I couldn't I wanted to go live but I couldn't so um I might see if I can go live and and play this that would be fun but I'm not to that point yet so um and the arms are hanging away from the body like a female that, that breast is larger, asymmetrical. All these tattoos are to hide all that scarring that I showed y'all earlier. Look at the waist indents. That, that's because God designed us women to where our hips end above the navel. That's a marker that a man is not going to have if they're a real man. God designed us to have this indent, indent. Those indents are the top of her pelvis. That's the top of her pelvis. I've shown y'all the back arch. I've shown y'all the jawline. <laughs> No, he's not just that. I, I think I'm doing a good job here. Okay. Now the wife. Um, I already showed you how the wife is showing you I'm both. I'm both. That's his wife wearing a moon bump. Because a man doesn't have a womb and cannot carry children they use surrogates or they adopt in heli weird i've already shown you the markers on his wife that that was i've shown you this little baby girl picture right here i've shown you this girly that is a female skull if i ever saw one just forget the hair imagine with long hair and like imagine just Softening up the eyebrows, some makeup, and some long hair. Look at these slumped shoulders. Pointy chin. Nothing in the neck. Flat face. No brow bone. Vertical forehead. Just some poofy ass hair right there. Come on now. Adam. Come on, Adam. Okay, now I'm going to get down to um, like the nail in the casket right here. And what that is is his exes his exes we're gonna look at them because I've proven by the landmarks that um, Adam was born a female period and where's that other photo I'm gonna go back to this photo this goofy ass photo right here that is a female jawline. That's a female jawline. Flat. 
there's no chiseledness a, like a, a male jawline is supposed to come down straight and across at 90 degrees that is a sloping jawline tiny ears no brow bone vertical forehead pointed chin just that's a female whose parents were satanist and who put them on testosterone as a young boy as a young girl sorry female female sloping jawline if you need to stop the video right here and take a photo of it so you'll have it for future reference that's a female jawline it will always be a female jawline now I've proven that that's a female by the markers. There's like 15 markers on him at least. I'm no longer using digit ratio and I already explained why. Okay, here we go to the girlfriends. This is what a square jawline looks like, okay? Oh, okay, and see? Horizontal collarbones all the way to the edge. That is a square jawline, how it comes down. It comes straight down and across 90 degree angle. That is a sloping forehead. And big ears. Okay. Here's next. It says, this is Nina Agdahl. And look at Nina. Nina has one of the deepest brow ridges I've ever seen in my life. And that, th th those are very, very deeply set eyes and a brow ridge. Look at it. Look how deeply hooded those eyes are behind this poking out brow ridge. That is, that was born a boy. So we've got two so far that are male. Who's next? Amanda Sutton. That has beat up kneecaps that I can see. Long humerus bone, straight across collarbone, square jawline. Oh, I need to sneeze. <coughs> square jawline. Sorry. Um, they put chin implants in these people to make it appear to have a pointy chin. But um, no, I notice. Let's let's wait. I need to zoom in so I can show you. See this above the eyes? That's a brow ridge, and the forehead is sloping back. That is a man. So we got three men so far. Here is um, a Sports Illustrated model, which all of those, if they're Victoria's Secret, Sports Illustrated, you name it, they're, they're men. Okay? I know it's hard to accept, but they're men. It just is what it is. Long arms. You can tell they have no hips. And they have a square jawline and a brow ridge there. Let me zoom. Yep, brow ridge. So we have, I think, four men now. Oh, it's getting worse. This one is not aging that well. And this is a big old man. I mean, if you want to learn about um, transvestigation, just get on just get on YouTube. I haven't covered I haven't covered Cameron Diaz, but um, many others have. Like um, I can't think off right off the bat. Just about every other transvestigator has covered this person. Look at this horizontal collarbone. Just massively wide shoulders. That's a three and a half head width shoulders. Wide set eyes. Square jawline. Brow bone. Long arms. Which you can't. Uh, but they have, they have wide shoulders. No hips. Um, they have no Q angle either. But it's not in the picture. But I've um, seen plenty about this one. That is a man. I would bet my life on it. That's a man. Now, here we go. We have this person. 
and they're squunching their shoulders and they got hair covering one side but they have male length the crotch would be up here they have male length arms they're kind of twisting up on the shoulders like they like to do let's look closer square jawline and brow ridge so five or six men now let's see one two three that was six men six of his exes are men oh wow okay wow this is a man look at this looks like a gladiator like an olympian look at these collarbones and the strong wide neck and and they have a very big brow ridge here and a square jawline and a chin implant that is a man angela bellate is number seven number eight janine habeck has the square jawline and a brow bone and it appears to be a flat back but i don't really need to see anything else you know girls like you look just go listen to that song that tells you exactly what the what the name of his game is girls like you and then here he dated an heiress whose name is bryce bryce is usually a name reserved for males i don't have enough to really break down this person but the jawline looks kind of square but you know they have a male name and they're an heiress the elite transgender their children because they worship the devil so i'm gonna say eight men who's next i'm seeing long humorous bone there and a brow ridge here yep definite brow ridge square jawline that one is busted that's a man rebecca genos oops go back all right here it, we're getting worse maria sharapova is another one of those inverted tennis stars that they wouldn't have um like serena um people have said that serena williams if they played what was it if they actually played as a man like they really are they would rank lower than 200 they would get slaughtered so what these satanist people do is they sacrifice their kid they sell their kid out, mutilate and sacrifice their kid to get them, or like Allie Raisman's parents did. They mutilate and sacrifice their child to, so that they can make them a star in sports by the fact they have extra strength because they are a man. This is a man all day. Wide shoulders, brow bone, square jawline. Many people have broken this one down. I'm not going to spend more time breaking that one down. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Jessica Simpson. There was even a sportscaster in the past um, when, when she was dating. Um, who was it? That she was dating a, a football player. And then they were having commentary. And then... <laughs> They were saying that Jessica being in the sidelines was distracting. To, it was like maybe to Tony Romo or something. And then the sportscaster said, Ugh, that would distract me. I would make a mistake and fall or something because that, that's a mean old man face. Looks like a truck driver. That's what they said about Jessica Simpson. But look at this. Yes, of course this is a man. Square. Look at the, the square chin, the jawline, the whole skull. It's just a big old man wide high cheekbones thick brow jessica simpson i'm not gonna you know i could break that person in huge skull i could break them down but i'm not gonna waste my time on it they've been broken down numerous of times 
Here's someone named Corinne Carey. And there, see, people, my channel, I called it Crystal Clear Truth because my name is Crystal. I put my real name on my channel. I thought, Crystal Clear, like, oh, it's clear now. I was thinking about it like that. I'm not a Mason. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm anti-Mason. So I wasn't thinking about it. People have come across and, and, and spam and uh, leave hate comments saying that I'm CC for 33. But no, but the elite will do CC for 33. Corinne Carey, there's your CC. They're crossing their legs up, doing the tranny pose. If you see someone posing with one foot lobbed over the other, that's a tranny pose. Um, no hips. The shoulders are wider than the hips, and it looks like a square jawline. Yep, <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, um, those of y'all, um, in the truth community and transvestigation community know that this has been broken down, um, by so many as a male, so I'm not gonna waste my time on that one, and so let's count just for fun, one, two, Three, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen known men that Adam has been with. And you know why? It's because it's their religion to be transgendered themselves, they do it to their children. Because they worship the Baphomet goat god that has breasts and a penis. They want to be both, or they want to be they want to be the opposite. They want to portray themselves as the opposite gender of what they are to honor their to honor their goat god. So, um, I hope. Y'all have enjoyed uh, my presentation here. I know it was lengthy. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope all of you have a blessed day.